What's good, y'all? So today it's nice and beautiful out here. It's like 90 plus degrees. So I figured I'd do something a little bit different than usual and do a video outside. And uh, the thing I wanted to talk about today was six valuable skills or things that you should have in order to navigate through life. So let's talk about them. So the first one I wanted to cover was the ability to stay calm and be unrattled through difficult situations. This is one that I've really honed in on over the years. You know, difficult times are always gonna come in life. Um, things that you don't expect are gonna happen. Mistakes will be made. Uh, difficult situations will come to you. And I think the idea is you have to be prepared for them mentally. You know, nobody expects to fail. Nobody wants to fail, but you have to be prepared for the unexpected. Just as simple as that. The second one I wanted to talk about was the ability to use introspection properly. Now, introspection is when you look within and try to reflect on the things that you've done well, and the things that you've done that didn't go so well, and understanding what caused you to get to both of those points and being able to improve on the situation going forward. Ultimately, the ability to look within is probably the most important one on this list, you know, period. The third one I want to talk about is the ability to be comfortable with yourself. <laughs> and uh, becoming comfortable with yourself is probably a really difficult one too. I'd say it's the second most difficult one because, you know, for example, this YouTube channel that I made, I've never been very comfortable on camera. Now, being on camera for me was always a very tough thing. I was never really a very outspoken person throughout my life. So creating a YouTube channel has allowed me to kind of step outside of my shell and you know, really extrapolate all my thoughts and really get my ideas out there and just have a voice for myself. I think it's important for everybody to, you know, establish who they really are um, and be more comfortable in their own environment and also in things that aren't in their environment. All right, number four, and this kind of ties with number three, um, being a great communicator. Now, being a great communicator does not mean that you have to be a person who's always talkative, a person who becomes the life of the party. If you're an introvert, you don't really have to step outside your shell and be talking to a million different people a day, you know, but become a better communicator. In every interaction you have with people, try to be more, uh, try to be more personable, show a little bit more personality. Uh, try to make every experience with yourself be enjoyable. Make it so when people are done talking with you, they're like, man, this guy was a cool person or, you know, this guy knows what he's talking about. Be one of those people. Number five is being able to learn from your failures and use it towards your success. This one ties in with number one a bit more too. Um, whenever you're trying to succeed in life or reach a goal in life and become great at it, you're gonna fail. I don't mean you're gonna completely like go off the rails or anything, but like, you know, you're gonna fail. You're gonna run into some obstacles, run into some pitfalls. It's important to take those things and, you know, go back to the drawing board, learn where you messed up at, learn where you can improve and move on from there. Ultimately, most people who have had heavy success in life, whether it's financially or relationships or things of that nature, you know, they've had to fail. They've had to go through some trials and tribulations and they had to learn from it and improve. And you cannot be afraid to fail. The most important part is that you have to have an appetite for success. And when you have an appetite for success, <laughs> sometimes they're gonna chew on failure a few times and <laughs> that's okay. And finally, number six, you should know when to speak up and know when to shut the hell up. <laughs> and this is one of those things that I've always uh, made sure to remember for myself. There are so many times in life when you're not looking for trouble, but trouble will find you. And in those times, you should always be aware of what you're saying. Be careful who you're dealing with. Uh, be careful who you're coming across because, you know, some people do not care about themselves. And if they don't care about themselves, they ain't gonna care about you either. See ya guys, that's my final thoughts. Uh, if you really enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like below, drop a comment, and also share it with somebody you think it might help. Follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, and subscribe for more.